Condensed milk isn't just a sugary addition to your morning coffee or homemade dessert. It's a product with nearly two centuries of history, woven into the cultural fabric of dozens of countries. Known for its high nutritional value, rich flavor, and long shelf life, condensed milk has become a pantry staple. But how does ordinary milk transform into this thick, syrupy, sweet substance that can last for months without refrigeration? The answer lies in a precise balance of science, engineering, and meticulous quality control at every step. The production of condensed milk is a symphony of technology and tradition, where nothing is left to chance. The journey of condensed milk starts far away from the factory, on modern dairy farms. Among green fields and milking parlors, the main raw material is born, fresh cow's milk. Today, a single farm can house thousands of cows. Each cow produces between 25 and 40 liters of milk per day. In industrial scale conditions, that means hundreds of thousands of liters daily that must be collected, cooled, and delivered in perfect condition. Milking machines installed on farms work automatically. They mimic the natural suckling motion of a calf, applying gentle rhythmic pressure. The milk flows through sealed stainless steel pipes directly into refrigerated tanks. The temperature is kept between two to four degrees Celsius, a critical range that prevents bacterial growth from the very beginning. Before the milk ever leaves the farm, it's tested. Samples are collected automatically and sent to laboratories, where they're analyzed for fat content, acidity, density, somatic cell count, and microbiological safety. It's especially important to ensure the milk contains no traces of antibiotics, an absolute requirement. Once approved, the milk is loaded into insulated tanker trucks. Each truck can transport up to 20,000 liters. Throughout the journey to the processing plant, temperature is tightly controlled and the route is tracked in real time. Freshness is the highest priority. No more than 12 hours may pass between milking and factory delivery. At the factory, milk is pumped into large vertical storage tanks known as silos. Each can hold up to 100,000 liters. These tanks keep the milk fresh until it's ready for processing. Each silo is equipped with a cooling system and automatic mixing to maintain a consistent, uniform product. From the silos, the milk flows into the separation unit. High-speed centrifuges, spinning at more than 7,000 revolutions per minute, separate the milk into two fractions, cream and skim milk. Condensed milk is made from the skimmed portion. Why? Because skim milk ensures a stable, uniform texture and reduces the risk of spoilage. The separated cream is diverted for use in other products, like butter or heavy cream. Next comes pasteurization, a rapid heating process that raises the milk to 72 degrees Celsius for 15 to 20 seconds. That's enough to destroy up to 99% of harmful bacteria while preserving the milk's natural taste and nutrients. Immediately after heating, the milk is rapidly cooled to 3 to 4 degrees Celsius to halt any biological activity and lock in freshness. Thanks to this step, condensed milk can be stored safely without added preservatives. Now the milk begins its transformation into the sweet delight we know and love. Sugar is added to the pasteurized milk, up to 45% of the total mass. But sugar's role isn't just flavor enhancement, it's a powerful stabilizer that draws out moisture, suppressing microbial growth and acting as a natural preservative. The milk and sugar mixture is blended thoroughly in sterile tanks. It is then gently reheated to fully dissolve any sugar crystals. This is crucial. Undissolved crystals can ruin the texture and shorten the product's shelf life. The result is a thick, smooth and sweet base perfectly prepared for the next stage. Now comes the most important phase, evaporation. The mixture is fed into large evaporator systems, 
multi-stage stainless steel machines that operate under vacuum conditions. The reduced pressure allows water to evaporate at lower temperatures, protecting proteins, vitamins, and flavor from damage or caramelization. Roughly 60% of the water is removed from the milk. What remains is a dense, rich, and sweet substance. The base of the condensed milk we recognize by its consistency. The evaporation continues until the mixture reaches the exact level of thickness required by the formula. This thickened milk now goes through a homogenizer, a device that breaks down fat globules into microscopic particles. This step ensures the product remains smooth and uniform, prevents separation during storage, and gives condensed milk its iconic glossy appearance. After homogenization, the product is cooled once more, this time to a temperature suitable for filling. But before that, it must pass a final round of quality checks. High-resolution cameras, viscosity sensors, and automated analyzers inspect every batch. Any deviation in color, thickness, aroma, or taste is grounds for halting the line. Maximum attention is paid to quality because condensed milk is a long-life product, and any defects may only become noticeable weeks or even months later. While the product is being prepared for filling, the packaging is also getting ready. Most condensed milk is packed into tin cans. They're durable, airtight, and can withstand high-temperature steam sterilization. Cans arrive pre-formed from a supplier, but still require thorough cleaning. Before filling, they are passed through multi-stage washers and then exposed to high-pressure steam at temperatures up to 120 degrees Celsius to ensure absolute sterility. Each can is inspected for seam integrity, cleanliness, and deformation before it ever meets the product. When the condensed milk reaches the perfect consistency and passes all final inspections, one of the most impressive stages begins. The filling process. The thick, glossy mass flows into automated filling lines, where it's dispensed with microscopic precision. Each can is filled with an exact quantity. No more, no less. Deviations are not tolerated as they affect shelf life, appearance, and compliance with quality standards. Filling takes place at a temperature of around 40 degrees Celsius. Ideal for keeping the product fluid, yet stable enough for sealing. The production line can handle up to 400 cans per minute, with every movement fully automated and synchronized. Cans arrive on a conveyor, are filled, move to the lid placement system, and proceed to sealing. Once filled, the cans are sealed. A metal lid is pressed onto the can's rim and secured using rollers that form a hermetic double seam. This seal must withstand internal pressure and preserve the product for many months. After sealing, the cans are sent into autoclaves, large steel chambers for sterilization. Inside, they're exposed to pressurized steam at temperatures between 120 to 125 degrees Celsius for 10 to 30 minutes, depending on can size and product density. This is the final safety barrier, eliminating any remaining microorganisms. Sterilization gives condensed milk a key advantage, a long shelf life without refrigeration, often up to 12 months. Taste, texture, and aroma remain unchanged thanks to this precise process. After sterilization, the cans are cooled and sent to the final inspection line. Here, they undergo weighing and x-ray checks. If a can weighs less than expected, it may be underfilled or have a faulty seal. Such cans are automatically rejected. Nearby, cameras scan the cans for correct shape, dense, seal integrity, and overall air tightness. Each production batch is assigned a unique identifier. Production time, line number, shift, and operator, enabling full traceability. At large-scale facilities, dozens of tons of condensed milk are produced daily, and every liter must meet the highest standards. Even after sterilization, cans may have water residue, condensation, or marking traces. Therefore, 
they are passed through a high pressure washer where they are thoroughly cleaned using a food safe solution. Next comes hot air drying, leaving the exterior perfectly dry. Essential for smooth label application. Then comes the labeling stage. Each can receives the brand logo, ingredient list, nutritional information, manufacturing date, expiration date, barcode. Labeling machines operate at speeds of up to 500 cans per minute, and every label is checked by a camera. If a label is misaligned by even a millimeter, the product is rejected. Once labeled, cans are grouped into packs of 6, 12, or 24 units, depending on customer requirements. They are wrapped in shrink film and placed onto pallets. Robotic arms stack them with precision, optimizing layout for transport and storage. The completed pallets are marked and sent to logistics warehouses, where they await shipment to retailers. At modern facilities, both palletizing and inventory storage are fully automated, controlled by digital systems to maximize efficiency. Condensed milk is more than just milk with sugar. It's the result of hundreds of quality checks, dozens of technical processes, strict standards, and advanced engineering. The second it takes you to open a can is backed by days or even weeks of production work. Each can goes through over 30 stages of control, and formulas are refined over years to maintain that signature, consistent flavor recognized across generations. Condensed milk is a unique product. You can boil it, spread it, bake with it, stir it into tea, or enjoy it straight from the spoon. It's part of culinary history. From the farm to the can, the process includes nearly 20 steps. Milk testing, separation, pasteurization, evaporation, homogenization, filling, sterilization, and only then is it ready for store shelves. This is how a childhood favorite is born, quietly passing through one of the most complex production chains in the food industry. Now you know how condensed milk is made. Behind its sweet taste is a world of precision, hygiene, and the labor of hundreds of specialists and every spoonful you enjoy is a small masterpiece of engineering.